First at five today marked the fourth day of testimony in the trial of Frederick Rogers, who is one of two men accused of killing seven people in Valamosa Springs back in June 2020. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty for Rogers. His co-defendant John Leck doesn't have a trial date yet. News 19's Kayla Smith is joining us now from the courtroom. And Kayla, you saw how much this has shifted since yesterday, right? It definitely changed. The jury saw Rogers 2020 interview with the FBI yesterday. It offered a pretty scattered timeline. Today, the focus was much narrower. It turned to physical evidence as the state offered testimony from experts in firearms and DNA. Today, the state presented three pistols collected as evidence when Rogers and his co-defendant John Legg were arrested. In addition to the guns, the state showed other items, a hat and gas can collected at the scene that were found to have Rogers DNA on them. Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences ballistic specialist Nicholas Drake testified at length, saying two Taurus pistols that were recovered matched at least 25 bullets recovered at the scene and possibly another seven. Five other bullets may have been fired from an HK pistol. Investigators say 48 bullets were found and Drake tested 37 of them. This afternoon, Forensic Biology Section Chief Gina Peterson testified that Rogers DNA was found on several items from the crime scene, including the HK pistol. The trial will continue Monday morning. News 19 will have a team in the courtroom bringing you up to the minute coverage on air and on WHNT.com. Live in Decatur, Kayla Smith, News 19.